Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, etc, 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 etc. It, the, the, the date of this recording is um, the 20th of December. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. Actually, that's a complete lie. It's absolutely miserable and cloudy and horrible outside, and it's very, very cold as well. But anyway, um, and it's the worst kind of cold as well. It's just, you know, too cold for snow, you know. Or ice, or anything. Well, what am I on about? Too cold for ice? No, it's icy a bit outside. Uh, no snow though, um, which sucks really. I mean, it was very cold last year, but you know, um, at least we had a bit of snow last year, which made Christmas feel a lot, a lot nicer. But really, you know, you, know, you look outside my window at the minute; it might as well be autumn. What was that? Or fall, was that? if you're from America. Uh, anyway. I will not bore you with the weather. At least not the weather in, in, in where I am right now. Perhaps weather in the game. Um, so yeah. Where were we? We've just joined the Morag Tong. We did our little initiation testy thing, which took way longer than it should have. What's your story? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. You know, we, we, you know what? We have a quest journal for this sort of thing, so I don't have to remember what I was doing. Um, there was one thing I do want to do. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. I remember now. Um, yeah, we finished that Morag Tong thing, but we also have another quest to do uh, for the other guy to poison the uh, that um, freelancing assassin in Balmora. I think it's in Balmora, he said. Um, and I, since we're, we're uh, yeah, level four, that also means we can go and see Caius finally. So we have three objectives in this uh, in this session. Number one, kill the assassin guy by poisoning his food. Number two, go and see Caius and start the main quest. And number three, find a Colovian for a helm. Um, because it's Christmas and it's the closest thing this game has to a Santa hat and I just thought I'd be festive um, mind you I suppose but by the time this video actually goes up it'll be like way past Boxing Day um, but you know never mind um, I like to keep a large buffer of videos ahead especially during like, the holiday season so that um, I can sort of upload stuff without having to do a lot of recording, um, especially since it's Christmas and I have other things going on, you know. Um, so yeah, those are our three objectives. Uh, first of all, you know, we need to get to Balmora. And I'm already lost. Where are we? Um, well, oh, that's not very helpful. Um, we're in the arena. Uh, where's the, 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 the gondola man? There! Gondola. Gondola man! Speaking of gondolas, I bought Assassin's Creed 2 um, yesterday, and I can't wait to have a go at that. I played the original Assassin's Creed, wasn't majorly fond of it. I loved the setting, the whole Crusades thing, but the game itself, as I think most of you will probably agree, you've played it, is very dull and very repetitive. So, front quarter. Thank you. Um, yes. But I've heard really good things about Assassin's Creed 2, and I did indeed briefly play it once, and it did seem like quite fun. I played it on a, on a... For Christ's sake, right, I'll start again. I played it on an Xbox, however. See, I nailed it that time. God, my sentence forming abilities are just feel terrible at the moment. Um, anyway, um, but yeah. I played briefly on an Xbox, which meant I was utterly inept at it as well, because uh, you put an Xbox controller in my hands, and I just, I turn into like a seven-year-old in terms of game-playing ability. Um, I can't function without a mouse and keyboard, I'm afraid. Now then, um, Sword Strider, that'd be the quickest way, wouldn't it? I'm not going to walk all the way to Sodding Balmore, I just don't have the time or the inclination to do so. So, we'll take the giant insect taxi um care to see the sights where can i take you take me to 
uh, more. Thank you. Um, yes. A little bit of your loading screen. I wouldn't mind some new loading screens, but like I said before in the first like video, it kind of fits because it still has the original game intact. I te tested this out actually um, a couple of days ago. I uh, loaded um, loaded up the save and I went off to Sedanine and I found a boat there and you can indeed get a boat to um, Cyrodiil. Although I missed, I didn't find a way. I didn't manage to find a boat that would take me back to Morrowind, so I'm gonna have to look that up. But yeah, you don't even have to install a mod. I was wrong about that when I last mentioned it. Um, yeah, you literally just uh, you just literally pop over to Save Nina, or I think Evan Hart as well, but I've not tried that. Um, stop freezing. Um, and you get on this boat, and there's a Khajiit there, I think, and he'll give you. I think it's for three thousand or a thousand gold or something. Um, he'll take you to Cyrodiil, and the journey takes like three days or something. Oh, you're still here, are you? Mr. Retard Guard. Do you live here now? Is, is I don't understand. Why are you actually here? Is the AI bugged out? Or are you actually supposed to be here? Or, I don't know. I don't What's understand. Your story? Anyway, uh, I'm, uh, the, the, the chest is up here, isn't it? The chest. Chest, chest, chest. Hooray! Oh, more potions. Excellent. Nom 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 nom. Get in those. And the Colobian fur helmet. Yes. We'll forego the dragon scale helmet for this episode, and we shall be wearing this instead. Look at me, I look, I look like one of Santa's elves now, except slightly more badass. Brilliant. Anyway. Cross that off the list. Yeah, I feel accomplished. Let's go do this. Let's hit up our first main quest. Assuming it works properly. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, yes. Mm, pretty night sky. And ooh. Was the moon meant to look like that? Is it. It's really. There's, it's like there's a moon shaped hole in the sky. Maybe it's just, I don't know, the phase the moon's in at the moment. Or something. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's a very pretty night sky. Not as pretty as the one in the original Morrowind, I might add. For some reason, the night sky in Morrowind was always incredibly nice to look at. And I can't really put my finger on why, it just was. Um, come on! It freezes every single time when I get to that door. I don't know why. Hello there, Caius. Ah, well, what may I do? You know very well what you for me. I've only been here like six times. Orders. Well, one look at you and anyone can see you're an experienced adventurer. That can be your cover identity. Finally! Around here, freelance adventurers are thick as fleas on guar. Want to keep active in that line just to avoid unwanted attention. So, I have orders for you whenever you're ready. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, talk to Hasfat and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nero Varine secret cult and the sixth house sixth house secret cult. You'll have to do a favour first, probably not your favour. Oh, wouldn't be an RPG if you didn't. Um but do it, get the information and report back to me. By the way, he's a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. Uh, and some books here, yeah. Stuff like that. I like that. That little last line you did there. There's, there's no part in being there's no point in being part of history. If you're too ignorant to understand it, that's a nice little, nice little quote. I think it's good. Plus, um, I've always felt that that was the game's way of sort of nudging you into sort of will you will you please pick up some of the books and actually read them? Because um, um, it's got to be said. I mean, you don't have to read the books in this game and stuff like that. I mean, it's entirely optional getting catching up on the background lore. But in all honesty, the uh, Oh no, uh, you're somewhere else completely. Um, in all honesty, the main quest will not make a whole lot of sense if you haven't actually done some reading. Um, but I like that actually, I think that's good. Um, was that coloured before? I think I installed the mod that made it coloured. Anyway, um, 
Yes, quest. Uh, we'll go and talk to Hasfat in a bit. First, I want to get this uh, this other thing out of the way. Very briefly. Hang on, it's got two quest markers. What's that about? One in Vivek. And one in Balmora. Right, I'm going to assume the one in Balmora is the one we need to go to. Um, over this here bridge and under this here arch and uh, over there somewhere so I just walk all the way over here for no reason don't tell me he like I bet he lives in yeah does he like live in their right house right next to Caius or something I don't know actually where was the uh, where's the arrow pointing to He lives. He lives here, doesn't he? Uh, it's open. Is he home? He's not. Good. What's this? Book, 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 book. Incident in Necron. That's a skill book, isn't it? Yes, it is. We have in that. Thank you. Uh, just yeah, you know, a bit of casual pilfering while I'm here. Um, more books. Uh, not skill books though. Uh, chest. No. Well, oh, he's got some gold. I love that. Excellent. Now then, it's Balin's Cauldron. E. Yes, I would like to place the poison in the pot. I've succeeded in putting the poison in Balin Omavel's cooking pot. Hopefully, he'll be using it soon. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure how subtle this poison is. You know, it's sort of a. I could get uh, you. I. You know, I can imagine putting it in the in the pot when there was already some food in it. But I mean, wouldn't he just come home and be like, mm, "Right, time to cook some." What the hell is that in my pot? Who put that there? And he'll just chuck it out, and it'll uh, plan won't work. But uh, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah. Look at me being all reasonable and uh, and uh, sensible. This is a game. Things like that happen in games. Um. So yeah, that's done. Uh, I'll, and I'll turn that in next time I'm back down in Vivek. So now we have to go see Hasfat. I'm assuming that Hasfat is how you pronounce his name. So I'm going to pronounce his name anyway. And he's in here. Somewhere. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. Yeah, hello. Good day. So you're with Caius, huh? And Caius wants information. Of course, there's a this for that involved. Oh, well, I did, didn't, 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 wasn't expecting that. Um, I require a favour first, and then I'll tell you what I want to know. What you want to know, rather. Um, uh, favour. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Um I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a Dwemer Puzzle Box. Why are you telling me it's called, and in, in, in quotes, Dwemer Puzzle Box? Like it has like a label on it that says a Dwemer Puzzle Box. I don't know. I don't know. More game logic. The dialogue scripting a long way since Morrowind, if we're honest with ourselves. Well, in some respect, anyway. Um, right, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Um, it's night time, but um, 